Time for our Spotlight segment, and today we have a newbie who is already causing a stir with her new project. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you, Almina. Rising R&B singer and songwriter Almina is breaking into the music scene with her debut EP, No Drama, that takes us on a journey through loves, ups, and downs. For Elmina, no drama isn't just about relationships with others, but the importance of a healthy relationship with yourself. The track, Done With You, inspired by the end of a love affair, serves as her first official music video release. The visuals are directed by Avalon Okpe. So there are four songs on the EP. Uh, they're very sad songs. <laughs> um, they're all about love and, you know, the how things don't work out sometimes and and that's perfectly fine just learning to move on from that and then love yourself as a result so that's that was the main inspiration behind it I'm um, realizing that not everything is going to work out the way you want it to but then that's fine but we can still go through that emotion you can still feel all the feelings and eventually you still be fine from my current project right now I think learning to love yourself and putting yourself first because that's the most important thing you need to learn um, about yourself and then to love yourself before you let someone else love you and that's really really important because people walk into relationships with their own burdens and stuff that they expect the other person to um, work out for them but if you don't know yourself in and out then really you can't work through a relationship properly. So that's the main thing for me. That's why I feel like a lot of toxic relationships come out. So I think it's so, so important that to take away from this project that you need to love yourself before you get into anything. Done with you, obviously there was someone behind it. I'm not mentioning any names, but you know, we just need to realize that things don't work out. And um, if it's one of those songs where, um, the girl is the, the side chick and it just happens that he's got a main girl that he's going to see all the time and she just feels very like, okay, look, I'm not trying to do this anymore. I want to be a main girl and if you can't make me that girl, then there's nothing, like it's 100 or nothing. So I'm leaving and I'm done with it. Surprisingly, that's not her favorite record on the EP. The vocal powerhouse singer boasts a sound unique to the Nigerian music space. Although she loves R&B, she doesn't have any plans to limit herself to the one genre. My favorite song is probably Deja Vu. Like the whole thing, it, it was just very, um, I don't know, it was quite emotional in a way because it was kind of a real life story. For me, when I write, I put, I start off with a real life story and then I just carry on with whatever I feel fits best. So, um, that one, Deja Vu, was, it, it, there was just a lot of emotions in it. So for me, it was just the best. I think every bit of it, the harmonies, everything was just, I can't really pick one thing out of it that would have been the best. What I want to do in the industry for myself, I honestly just want to be real, just be me. So. If I wake up tomorrow and I decide, yeah, I want to do a bit of Afro, like, no one attack me because I that's just how I feel. Because I'm one person, I love to go with the vibe. So yes, I love R&B and soul and I just absolutely, because that's the easiest way for me to write and express how I feel or how I'm telling other people's stories and stuff. But regardless, I just feel like I just want to be real um, and keep it 100. The Tem Records artist got her start with a push from someone in her life, which was a surprise to her because she didn't know she could sing well initially. 